Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I customized my iPad home screen. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll start here with my lock screen. It's this really cute Karomi themed wallpaper and this is the theme that I'm going to be using throughout my home screen. It's a Karomi Sundir theme and I used this cute wallpaper that I found online. I'll show you guys how to find it if you want to use this exact wallpaper. Um, I can also upload these images that I'm using to my Twitter if you guys want to download them yourselves. So yeah, this is the theme we're using. I really love the like half and half and the purple and black and the whole Sundir Cafe theme. So once you unlock, to the home screen which looks like this and I only have one screen right now if you scroll to the left you can um, have some widgets there and if you scroll to the um, right I actually set this up earlier with the um, different apps that I'm going to be using today so if you want to screenshot this or um, just write these down these are the apps that I'm going to be showing you today and then if you scroll again, it's just the app library. So like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to go with the Sandir Cafe theme. So this is what I came up with. I have a few widgets. I have this very large widget here, which is more of a like informative widget. I have the weather here. It's 48 degrees right now. Feels like 47. Then the um, date and day of the week. So it's Wednesday, March 22nd. Then over here we have... Um, what the weather is like outside right now. It's currently raining and um, as you can see it's 81% chance of rain. The high for today is 48 and the low is 41. And I like to have that information like readily available so this is what I chose to put on my um, big widget here and then I chose this Karomi image for the um, center. Then I also made these two widgets here that I'll be showing you how to make and I just put these little plushies here kind of like as decoration. So I thought that would be really cute. And then I um, put a few of my most used apps here. I have a uh, Netflix, Prime Video, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Studio, YouTube, PayPal, and InShot Video Editor. And then down here I have um, apps that are um, that come in the iPad that I use most. So this is my messaging app. This is my um, Safari, this is Mail, and this is my Photos. So if you click here, you'll go to Safari. Um, I'll show you the Photos app. And these all work really well. I'll show you how to set up these kinds of shortcuts on your own. So the first thing I want to show you is how to make this type of widget here. We're going to use an app called Color Widgets and this is what the app looks like. When you click on it, this is the interface and as you can see from up here, I've already made a few different app, um, widgets using this app. So if yours was new, you wouldn't have these up here, but you'd have a little plus to um, add a widget and you can do that to kind of create your own widget. Or you can start with any of these widgets that they have here. They have popular, pro exclusives, um, just photos. Um, these like cute forest ones with the um, weather uh, for the week forecast on there. They have these all these different little ideas. And you can use these templates. These are really cute, neat, interesting ones. The music one is really cool, this one, if you use Apple Music. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made this one here. So what I did is I hit the plus to create a new widget, and then I clicked on it. And this is what it'll look like. It's going to show you a preview of the four different sizes of widgets and what they all look like. So what I did was I hit Add Photo, and then I picked the photo that I wanted to use, and I had the photo here here that I wanted to use and then I kind of zoomed in a little bit see how it says move and scale so I kind of zoomed in a little like that and then I hit use and so it's showing you how it's going to look I, I was working on the big one like this so then I hit change widget because I didn't like this format I wanted a different format and here you can see all the different formats and different um, things you can use. You can do just a photo, a blank. 
Um, there's all these different options and I chose I believe I chose this one here. No, this one here. So I clicked that and as you can see, it went ahead and added all of that there. And now you can choose things like the um, color of the font. You can choose any of these colors. There's a lot of different options to choose from. You can also choose the font. You can watch the font here change as I pick different fonts. Oh, also for color, you could um, custom your own color. Click here on this little wheel. And then from here, you can kind of make up your own color. Or you can use the grid. Or you can use like a slider like that. I customized my own color um, on the spectrum. And then I saved it to here. You hit the plus once you kind of pick, like say, this is the color you make up. You hit plus and now the color is saved down here. So I made up this kind of purple color that I liked. But I believe I left the font white. And then you can also hit more options and you can pick a border. And you can pick the border size. You see the preview, preview up here changes. You change the um, border size. So I believe for border I picked like a purple that I created, kind of <laughs> mixed, if you would say myself. And here's the preview of how it would turn out. And for font, I believe I picked maybe that one, no, this one. And once you're happy with it, you just hit set widget and you pick which widget you wanna set it as. Um, when I had first created it, I set it as widget one. So you can just, um, you can override a widget, I have these three, or you can click here and set it as a new widget, like that. And once you're done with that, you just get out of the app, and now you can add it to your home screen. To add it to your home screen, what you're going to do is hold on the home screen button like this, then hit the plus up here, and then you're going to look for the app color widgets which is the app we just used, and you're gonna pick a size widget, and I chose the biggest one, and then you're gonna hit add widget, and then the widget is gonna show up here. If you wanted to switch to one of the other widgets that you were working on, hold onto the widget, or sorry, click the widget, and then from here, pick a different widget. And then it'll show up as a different one. So this one was widget one that I was working on. So that's what you would do, pick so that widget one would show up and then it'd be on your screen like that. If you wanna get rid of it, hold and then hit remove widget, just like that. And that's how I got this one. Next, I'll show you how I got these two. So what I did to, um, first I got images of plushies and then I cut the images out and I put them on a purple background and then I created the um, widgets themselves. So what I did was I went to Safari and I Googled um, Kuromi Sundeer because that was the theme that I wanted to go with. And then you can see all these images of the Kuromi Sundeer collection that was released in Japan. And then I picked a plushy picture that I liked. I ended up picking these two. So this is a large um, Sundeer plushie, and then this is the keychain version. So all I did was hit save to photos, just like that. And then if you go to photos, you'll see that it was saved to my photos. And then I used this app, it's called Background Eraser. If you look for it in the App Store, Background Eraser, and this is the icon. Then I went here, I hit load a photo, all photos, and then I picked that photo and I hit done. And then as you can see, it erased all of the um, background for me. I 
And once the background's erased, I just hit done and then save. And now the photo is saved with um, a clear background. So this is the photo with the white background and this is the saved photo with the clear background. Mm -hmm. So after that, what I did is I went to photo grid. I hit edit. I picked that photo with the clear background and then I went to background and I changed it to lavender this lavender color here, you can pick um, color and you can pick colors from here. So I just did like a lavender background like that and then I hit save. And then that photo was saved to my photos gallery here like this. I believe this is the one that I saved. Oh, so maybe the picture I saved on originally from Google was a different picture, but that's how um, it would work. That's how you would do it. Once you have the picture that you want, you just go to Color Widgets app again, which is this one. And we're going to hit back because we're going to edit a new widget. And that's widget number three, but I'm going to show you how to, I built it from scratch. So we'd hit plus, pick a new widget, hit add photo. Then we're going to pick the photo of the, um, that we just created, which would be like this and hit use. And now you can see how it's going to look in every size. We want to change it because I didn't want any um, data on the photo. I just wanted it to be a photo and that's all. So we hit change widget and come down here to photo blank. So it's just a blank photo. And then I believe I also added a border. So we went here. I chose the custom color that I had made. And now there's a little border around it. You can also pick a different color border but I chose that purple color and then I hit set widget. Now you pick what to set it as. I'm going to set it as a new wed widget. So now if I wanted to add here, same as before, hold on to the home screen, hit that plus at the top, look for color widgets and then pick the size. I believe I picked a large size like this, hit add widget and it's always going to put widget one. So we want to edit that, click on it, and then pick widget five, which is the newest widget. And then that's how it looks on the um, screen. Now I had it as widget five, but if you want to be more organized than that, you can always um, come here and in here, like label them. So where the little pencil is, I would click that and I would rename it maybe banner. And that way you would know um, what what widget you're saving. This one I'll name it um, Karomi Plush. And this one um, we'll say Mascot Plush because it was like a mascot size um, plush. And these I just created for you so I can go ahead and delete these now. And that's how I made um, these three widgets. Oh, <laughs> these three widgets. If you click on them, they'll take you to color widget as well. All right, so next I can show you how I made these icons and these icons down here. First, we're gonna start with where I got the images for the icons. So I'll show you them here in my, um, gallery it's all these really cute little images and i kind of used these to make the icons and also these sundir cafe images how i found those was i went to a website called deviant art and i knew that these like these all come from an app called line app which is kind of like um like a kick or like a messenger app but i don't have that app I'm not sure how to download the things. So I found out that they are on DeviantArt. So I just went to DeviantArt and searched Kuromi and then Line. And then as you can see, all of the little line icons are here. Somebody was nice enough to um, upload all the little stickers. So if you wanted to use these, you would just hit this download button and download them to your iPad. 
the user is Lucula, I believe. So big shout out to her or them, sorry, for um, uploading all of this, um, all of these stickers, purchasing and uploading these stickers. And then from here, you can see that they have more stickers that they uploaded. So I downloaded this pack and I downloaded this pack, the Sanrio Kuromi Sandir Cafe. And all I hit was this here, free download. And then you can see, do you want to download? I hit download. And then I went to um, files on my here. And then in downloads, you'll see the zip folder. So just double click to unzip it. And then you can see it starts downloading the items and they were in a folder like this. So all I did was, I believe I just selected them all and then um, moved them over to my photos gallery. So that's all you need to do to get these cute images. So once you have the cute images, you're going to want to, they have, um, as you can see, like white backgrounds or they have words on them, things that I didn't really want on mine. So what I did is I went to the background eraser app and I erased everything that I didn't want on there. And then I went to photo grid. So we'll just use um, this one that we already deleted the background on um, earlier. So once you have the background deleted, you put it into photo grid like this. And then I changed the background to just a solid color. So it looks like this, just like we did in the um, widgets that we created. And then I hit save. And that's how I did these. So then once we have that saved, you want to go to the shortcuts app, which is already in your iPad. It looks like this. Then click shortcuts. Then you're going to want to hit this plus button. And then you're going to want to pick the um, shortcut that you want. In this case, I used open app. So the instruction is to open the app. You're going to click on where it says app and it's highlighted and you're going to pick the app that you want it to open. So say that I wanted to open Amazon or I wanted to open my messages. That's what I would do and I would pick it. So now it's set to open messages or here. Let's put one that I would open for you guys. Netflix, like say I wanted it to open Netflix. I would leave it like that and then I would hit this button here and then hit add to home screen. So this is gonna put a little shortcut on your home screen. Here, you would pick the image you wanna use. So let's pick the, um, for Netflix, I used that, but let's just say this is for anything else. You just pick the image that you created and you hit use. You can also move and scale it, but we'll just leave it as it is and hit use. And here's a little preview of what the shortcut's going to look like. And I would name mine, um, Netflix, right? Because this is to open Netflix. And I also wanted to show you really quickly on all of mine, I put, or most of mine, I put this cute little heart. And um, since this is not a Galaxy device, the heart isn't like on the keyboard or included in the keyboard. So I went to Safari and I Googled heart symbol and it was right here. And I clicked on it, like held, and then I hit copy. And then I went to back to the shortcuts app and then pasted it in like that. So now it's Netflix with a heart. And then hit add. Now you're done. Now it's on your screen here. And you can move it to anywhere you want. You can even move it to down here. The name won't be underneath, so you will have to memorize it if you were to move it down here. But if you put it up here, it says Netflix with the heart. To delete it, just hold on it and hit delete bookmark. Now, if you're doing a bunch of these at one time, make sure that you, once you're done with this, you hit back to shortcuts. Does that sometimes and then start all over again. Hit open app to create a new one. And that's how you would add the icons to each one. So I already showed you how to add the shortcut icons and how I made these type of shortcut app icons with the um, background eraser app and then the photo grid app. Next, I can show you how to make these kind. 
these I didn't actually specifically make them myself. I actually um, found them online. So I know I wanted like a lavender purple Netflix logo. So I went into Safari and I googled Netflix logo purple and this one was there. So I just, <laughs> sorry, I just held onto it like that and I hit save to photos and then that saved onto my um, photo gallery. here and then i did the same thing with the amazon logo i just googled purple amazon logo and then purple paypal the paypal one was a little bit light so i just edited it to be a little um a little darker to um, fit the theme more so that's how i did everything that you see here it's just like a really simple um, customization. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments box. I'll be happy to help you guys customize yours or if you have any requests for links or anything like that, please let me know. I'm always happy to um, help you guys. But I hope you guys really liked this customization. I had fun doing it. Um, yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one, Kitty and Jerry.